the message that I am bringing you is clear. It is concise, and there can be no mistake in its interpretation. You must wake up now or be enslaved. The war has begun many years ago. The war was declared by our enemies upon us. You had better listen. Let me tell you why you're here. You're here because you know something. What you know you can't explain, but you feel it. You felt it your entire life, that there's something wrong with the world. You don't know what it is, but it's there, like a splinter in your mind, driving you mad. It is this feeling that has brought you to me. The Matrix is everywhere. It is all around us. It is the world that has been pulled over your eyes to blind you from the truth. What truth? That you are a slave, Neo. Like everyone else, you were born into bondage. back of the dollar bill you'll see the symbol on the left hand side of the bill which is uh, I know it coeptus which means our enterprise is now a success or our enterprise is crowned with success I know it coeptus so you say fine so you have an enterprise and is now crowned with success what enterprise are you talking about novas ordo seclorum novas is novas meaning new ordo is order and seclorum is where we get the word secular meaning the world so it's new order of the world, the new world order. Am I understood? Yes, yes Your Highness. Far be it for me to question you, Your Highness, but might not the new world order be better served by approaching the humans with a more benevolent hand? And suffer further rebel insults? The high evolutionary is right. They must be crushed! Begin your preparations, my knights. The destiny of the new world order will be fulfilled. You will always have a special place in my heart and in the new world order. Ghoulish isn't our vampire, Mrs. C. Hmm. Maybe you can ask Santa what he saw before he was bitten. Right. Retrace his steps. Maybe pull a couple of his teeth for DNA samples. Mandy! I'm getting presents in the New World Order! Mrs. Claus said so! Now off to the cellar with a lot of you! Niggas that got killed in the field and all the babies born. No, they ain't fully prepared for this New World Order, so I keep it getting... We are slowly being slaughtered, so be prepared for the New World Order. Yeah, yeah, you can yell out your brain. All your arms. Get ready for this new world order. Shit is about to change.
What is at stake is more than one small country. It is a big idea, a new world order, where diverse nations are drawn together in common cause to achieve the universal aspirations of mankind. The world that maybe some people dreamt of at that conference back in Bournemouth when it looked as if maybe history would end, that liberal democracy would triumph, that free market economics would slowly progress and we'd have a new world order. And together they helped to create, were the principal leaders in creating, a new world order and a winning strategy in the Cold War. We are part of a new world order. And as the recently departed Admiral William J. Crow once said, it's long on new and it's short on order. Walter Isaacson wrote a wonderful book about some of the wise men who helped shape the new world order following the Second World War. As we devise a way forward in Iraq, I urge the international community to embrace its responsibility for creating that new world order. A new world order based upon collective action. The transatlantic partnership was never just the foundation of our security. It was the foundation of our way of life. It was forged an experience of the most bitter and anguished kind. Out of it came a new Europe, a new world order, a new consensus as to how life should and could be lived. New World Order.